white men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking is real dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, this man literally um, threatened the lives of us and our families about going to vote. Mm -hmm. Stand back and stand by. Stand back and stand by. Yeah. We're in a war. We're not taking this like it's a war. We're taking this like, oh, we're in a presidential election. Mm -hmm. No, we're in a war of love versus hate. The number one priority is to get Trump out of office. The tribe of people that have the responsibility and really should be scared to death of this man is white people. Well, there we go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Far too kind. You guys ought to know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Four favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today? Sean Puffy Combs is in big, big trouble. Just the other day, his house was raided by the FBI. And let's take a look at the footage. Good morning. Quiet right now, but it was a chaotic scene with federal agents rushing into the home here behind me. There were two separate raids, one here in this upscale neighborhood, the other in Miami, both connected to a federal sex trafficking investigation. Take a look. Fox 11 was the first to show you the raid here locally, led by Homeland Security, heavily armored federal agents making their way into the home on Mapleton Drive, associated with rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs and his production company, Bad Boy Films. Dozens of agents searched the property for hours hours leaving with boxes of evidence a similar scene at the miami beach property listed in his name as well the properties raided in connection to a sex trafficking investigation although department of homeland security officials haven't named diddy as the focus the 54 year old has been at the center of several sexual assault and sex traffic uh, sex trafficking allegations in the last year that's something variety's executive music editor has been covering extensively Shout out to tmz all right Looks like Sean should have taken my advice. Well, not just my advice, but a lot of people said it. Should have packed your stuff and went to Bali. Supposed to be a roommate with Russell Simmons. But now it's too late, sir. It is too late. You in deep doo-doo. All that surveillance you were doing, you had you was the black Epstein Island. Okay? The black version of Epstein Island. And they're not trying to uncover evidence they try to hide evidence and they're gonna make you the fall guy he need us build a spot over there in bali for his boy puffy a puffy need i warrant keep you need to take his ass over there there's no extradition laws over there so i'm warning you now puffy take your ass over there reggie prediction i know puffy is smart enough and he probably done already cleaned his houses but sex, sexual predators, what do they do? What do, and we'd be like, damn, why? They treat their sex tapes like, y'all yeah, remember that song, Me and My Girlfriend that Pac did? You know what he was talking about? What was Pac talking about, y'all? And that, do y'all really know what he was talking about? For those of y'all know what he's talking about, he was talking about a gun, but sexual predators is what, hold on to their tapes and cops know that so I wouldn't be surprised if some storages or some of Puffy properties be getting raided real soon because they need to get to those tapes they get one of those tapes with him with those little people that's been making the accusations Woo, man <laughs> Done. <laughs> but Puffy the type here, he'll blow his brains out. Guarantee y'all. <laughs> or do like he did on that that court screw uh uh lie. How he did. 
We know what you did, Puff. Misa told us. Nigga, you slit your wrist. He gonna do something stupid like that. Yep. Yep. So, I don't know, guys. If if Sean Puffy Combs eats his gun, we will all know what happens, right? He had too many powerful names on his little black book. He had too many secrets. He had too many tapes out there of politicians and pastors. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... And, and the light. So he have too much secrets out there. They have to shut him down. They know he was doing this for a long time. And they gave him enough rope. But with that Cassie thing happened, Cassie was to talk too. Cassie was about this close of talking. And so they got to shut him down. They have to shut bad boy down. He has too many weird circumstances go around him. Biggie, Tupac, uh, Shine, uh, Black Rob. There's too many death. His, his, his baby mama. Too many weird death is going around him. And he likes to blackmail you with sex tapes, allegedly. You stupid ass nigga. I told you, stop fucking with R. Kelly. I said, grab them in the pussy. Don't kidnap the pussy. They raided your shit, I see. I got a courtesy call when they raided my house. You really fucked up, up my nigga. Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill sex tape? Please, nigga. So they have to shut him down. Again, they're not trying to uncover truth because they know what he's been doing for a long time. They're just trying to cover it up. All those powerful men that he got in videotapes. The feds want it. Okay, the feds want it and keep it for themselves. Remember what happened to Epstein Island? They went and raided Epstein Island. They had files and files and boxes of stuff they took. But have you seen one evidence? They've been talking about they're going to, have to release these names. They're going to... um. They have redacted the names, and they're going to release names. It's been, what, two years I've been saying that? And we still haven't known who was on there. <coughs> Bill Clinton. <coughs> and there's a lot of people like that. But they went, they raided his house, and he uh, mysteriously passed away. Epstein Island. Uh, Mr. Epstein. No! Sean Puffy Combs, you and me the fall guy. And I hope that you don't eat your gun or, you know, hang off the chandelier or something like that. So, guys, what do you think? If you think Sean Puffy Combs is innocent, leave a comment below. If you think he's guilty, leave a comment below. And let's talk about it, okay? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> Go, girl. All right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you bad boys, get off my lawn.